And furthermore, want to acknowledge and thank uh, Lakeland College President, Dr. Alice Wainwright Stewart. Great to see you again. Thank you for having us here. As well, uh, Keanu College President, Jay Note, thank you for, uh, for being here with us. And Vice President Academic of Portage College in Lac La Biche, uh, Donna, that affects uh, Northeastern Alberta. Uh, but before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about where we're at as a province. And it's important to note that here in our province, the economy is indeed taking off. Whether in tech, film, television, agriculture, or oil and gas, wherever you look, you see strong signs of economic growth. In fact, Alberta's econo uh, economy is forecast to finally return to levels not seen since 2014. And in addition, many analysts are predicting that Alberta will lead Canada in economic growth this year. This is due in part to the Alberta Recovery Plan, a bold and ambitious plan to breathe new life into Alberta's economy and create new opportunities for every Albertan. However, this rapid pace of economic growth also brings its own set of problems. And one of these problems is the lack of available talent. Indeed, employers right across our province are expressing concern about not being able to hire the staff that they need. In addition, students need to have confidence that they will be accepted into their preferred programs in their very own communities. As well, businesses and regional leaders also need to have confidence that regional workforce needs will be met. To help address this problem, Alberta's government is investing $171 million over three years to create almost 10,000 additional spaces in our post-secondary institutions. This is, without question, the largest targeted enrollment expansion in Alberta's history. Under this program, all 26 publicly funded post-secondary institutions were asked to submit proposals to expand capacity in their highest in-demand programs. At the end of the day, we received 121 proposals from 23 post-secondary institutions primarily in key economic areas such as aviation, business management, engineering, healthcare, and technology. Each proposal was scored against a rigorous evaluation method, which considered alignment with workforce needs in key sectors, learner demand, financial implications, cost per seat, regional need, work integrated learning pathways, and ability of the proposals to get students into the programs this fall. Proposals were also evaluated for labor market demand using provincial data sources, institutional employment data, and advanced education's own analysis. And that brings us here today. And I am very pleased to announce that an investment of over four million in new funding to create over 400 new spaces at Keanu College, Portage College, and right here at Lakeland College. This new investment will ensure Northeastern Alberta has the talent it needs to thrive. First, I'll provide more details about where this funding is going. Firstly, with respect to Portage College in Laklavich, Portage College will receive 1.7 million to create 175 new spaces in three specific programs. Specifically, 28 new seats will be created in a new computer science certificate program. 75 new seats will be created in the community social work diploma program, and 72 spaces will be created in the practical nurse diploma program. With respect to Lakeland College, the college will receive approximately 1 million to create 135 new spaces in two critical programs. 111 new spaces will be created in the Healthcare Aid Certificate Program, and 24 new spaces will be created in the Animal Health Technology Diploma Program. And lastly, with respect to Keanu College, Keanu College will receive approximately 1.3 million to create 96 new spaces. 50 new seats will be created in the Healthcare Aid Certificate Program, 
and 46 new seats will be created in the primary care paramedic certificate program. And so in closing, as you can see, this new investment will ensure Northeastern Alberta has the talent it needs to thrive. In closing, I encourage everyone to find out more details about this largest targeted enrollment expansion in Alberta history and the broader Alberta at Work initiative at alberta.ca. Thank you very much. And uh, Emily Rosal, back over to you. Thank you very much, Minister, for sharing that news. Um, I would like to now invite uh, Dave Hanson, MLA for Bonneville Cold Lake St. Paul, to the podium to share a few words. Thank you, Garth. Um, I'd like to thank the Minister of Advanced Education for including me at this announcement and for his hard work in delivering to colleges and small communities across Alberta. Thank you, sir. As many of us here know, rural Alberta is the backbone of Alberta's economy. We have lots of youth who want to stay in and around their own communities, but who also still want access to high quality skill building programs that are needed in today's labor market. And this is exactly what the Target Enrollment Expansion Program aims to do. Through the Alberta to Work Initiative, $171 million over three fiscal years will be expand to will expand programs in key economic areas to help our youth get the skills needed to get good paying jobs. As a representative for Bonneville Cold Lake St. Paul, I've been advocating for many years for program expansion at Portage College. And I'm happy to announce today that the Portage College will receive $1.7 million of this funding to invest in their programs, such as healthcare programs, and to create 175 new seats. It is through this program and other programs like the Resident Education Supplement and Integrated Doctor Experience announced back in January, that we're addressing the healthcare shortages we see in our communities all around the province. So thank you to the Minister for your hard work and thank you to the students in rural communities who continue to upkeep their skills needed to keep rural Alberta the backbone of this economy and the province. I'm very proud of them. Thank you. Well, thank you, Mary Hanson, and uh, I'm trying to learn from his advocacy. <laughs> but some of my own. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I would like to now invite uh, Dr. Alice Wainwright Stewart, President and CEO of Lakeland College, uh, to the podium to share a few words. Thank you, Mary Lynn, for joining us today. It's such an exciting announcement. So, here at Lakeland, we prepare students to go beyond the classroom, providing them with work integrated learning opportunities that prepare them to meet the needs of industry. Our graduates are in demand. And our graduates are key contributors to rural sustainability. Our ability to add 130 million yearly to our local economy is directly related to our ability to provide our students with the critical learning opportunities they need. Over the years, we've expanded enrollment in animal health technology to address a continuous wait list in this program. In fact, in this academic year, although we've expanded our on-campus and a blended option, we still have exceeded the number of seats that we have available. And that number is 255 seats for 96 placements. So we really appreciate this expansion. We also offer the healthcare aid program, and that's in some of our neighboring communities, in addition to on our Lloydminster campus, because we know that highly skilled health professionals are increasing on a yearly basis. In fact, last year, we had almost twice as many applicants as we had places for our students. So we work closely with our industry partners to ensure that our curriculum and our programs are meeting the evolving needs of these industries. And we cannot do any of this without the help of the government of Alberta. And we know how essential registered veterinarian technologists and healthcare aid are in this province and in our region. So with this investment, we will continue to provide for these critical programs and 
get as many students as we can within our programs. And I would like to thank Minister Nicolaitis for sharing this exciting news today and for the government's continued support in post-secondary, especially here at Lakeland. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Wainwright Stewart. And it's been a pleasure working with her over the time I've been in, in uh, as an MLA. Um, I would like to now call upon our next speaker, Jane Note, uh, President and CEO of Keanu College, to share a few words as well. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jane Note, and I am the President and CEO of uh, at Keanu College. What a, what a great day. You know, uh, we are so pleased to personally acknowledge the accepted Alberta at Work submission proposed by our college and other post-secondary institutions throughout Alberta. I also want to take this time to thank Minister Nicolaides and the Ministry of Advanced Education for their support and their endorsement of these very important initiatives for the province. We are thrilled that two of Keanu's vital programs will receive significant funds towards targeted for enrollment expansion. Yeah. This key initiative has injected uh, much needed investment towards new seats in high demand programs, giving our students more opportunities to gain the skills and the training they need to enter the workforce. You know, the events in the last two years have clearly indicated the need for healthcare related workers positions and opportunities, and the Alberta at Work initiative will add over 400 new seats in healthcare programs at Lakeland, Portage, and Keanu College, starting as early as this fall. So Keanu is pleased that we will be receiving $1.3 million to work through this initiative, targeted specifically for healthcare aid and the primary care paramedicine certificate programs. Both of these programs are in direct al alignment with the Alberta 2030 vision, which are designed to meet the demands and needs of our regional uh, labor market, as well as equip students with the skills, knowledge, and competencies they need to they, they need to succeed in their choosing career paths. And it's interesting to know that applications for these programs have consistently doubled and at times tripled available seats in the past. So the investment in these high demand programs will now help Keanu better support the career choices made by our potential students and in turn help meet the labor market needs of our region. So as I stand here today, I am proud to be sharing this investment uh, opportunity in our college system with my colleagues at Portage and at Lakeland College. And I wanna thank Lakeland College for graciously hosting us here today for this great event. And so we are, we are here to celebrate this great day and which is for the benefit of our students, our respective regions and the province of Alberta. So thank you. Thank you, Jay, for those words. I would now like to invite Dr. Uh, Dr. Donna Kolenichuk, uh, Vice President <laughs> Academic from uh, Portage College to the podium to provide remarks. So I too, like my first before me, would very much like to thank the government of Alberta, Minister Nicolaitis, and uh, the piano. And as a rural post-secondary institute, meeting learning needs across our region is important in serving rural communities, industries, indigenous communities, and businesses. Um, and training uh, professionals to meet these regional needs has always been a challenge. We are continually see a drain to the urban centers. And so providing funding back to rural communities is really vital and important to our sustainability. This funding will allow us to expand programming and community social work and our PM programming, meeting job shortages in health and social work in the Northeast. And further, by being granted funds to start a new and exciting computer sciences program in our region, IT professionals are really difficult to re recruit to rural areas, and it has always been problematic. And this will also help with youth retention, which is a serious concern in the Lackfish region. Portage College would like to thank the government of Alberta and applause it for their foresight and budgeting for program expansion in 2022 to meet ongoing job shortages in the province. Thanks again.
Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Fletcher. And now, last but not least, uh, I would like to invite Belinda Kennedy uh, to the podium. Belinda is a healthcare aid student here at Lakeland College who is on track to graduate at the end of the month. So let's get close. <laughs> so, uh, Belinda, come on up and uh, I share some more. <laughs> I already passed my test. <laughs> Thank you, Bud. Hello, everyone. I am Belinda Kennedy, and I'm on track to celebrate my graduation from Lakeland College Healthcare Aid Program at the end of this month. I wanted to share a bit of my Lakeland experience and to thank the Government of Alberta for investing in this program. When I lost both my parents in 2020, I had to navigate through that journey alone. That's when I made the decision to go into healthcare as a career, focusing on palliative care. So I would be able to help families going through that difficult time. Having access to programs like the one at Lakeland is so important. Not only are we taught that the theory behind everything we need to know, but we are able to put that theory into practice in Lakeland's amazing labs and on practicums. Being able to put my education into action during continuing care, acute care, and community care practicums was an invaluable experience. Because of these three practicums, I've made connections with my patients, my peers, and future colleagues. I am confident going forward that I have the knowledge and experience needed to su succeed as a healthcare aide. With a strong, with a, such a shortage of healthcare aides professionals, I am grateful that the government of Alberta is expanding this enrollment in this area. Thank you to the government of Alberta and Lakeland College for ensuring that there will be even more healthcare aid graduates in the future, the same education I have to work alongside me and support my patients and families. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melinda, and for your expressing your motivation of why you got involved in the first place. That's a great story. Um, congratulations on your accomplishment at Lakeland College. <laughs> I can see here too. <laughs> uh, the investments announced today, uh, here today, will help Lakeland College and other post-secondaries in the region expand their operations and enable them to continue to do what they do best. Uh, thank you again for all of today's speakers and guests. That concludes our forum portion of our announcement. So thank you all for joining us today and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Um, and well, yeah, we'll now go into the media Q&A portion of the event. Uh, if there's any media in the room, you can make your way up to the microphone at the back of the room to ask a question. If not, we'll go to the phone line. Operator, would you be able to put through the first caller, please? There are no questions on the phone at this time. Okay. That will conclude our announcement. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. Great.